Here is another video that was requested by one of our viewers who wanted to know how to build an octagon foundation if they only had the length of the sides. And even though there are other ways, I think this is going to be the easiest. And that will be to cut eight boards, each with a 22 and a half degree angle on each ends with the length of the side that you want on the inside, not the outside, because this is going to be the area where you're going to be pouring the concrete foundation. And the first thing you're going to do will be to install one of the boards where you know that the octagon is going to start. And if you don't know where it's going to start, then you might want to refer back to one of my other videos. And then firmly position it, make sure it's level, and of course a view of the 22 and a half degree angle here on each one of our form boards. And of course make sure that they are not running in the same direction. They will be running in opposite directions. So you will have the short end of the angle on the inside here short end on the angle on this side here. Now this is where I think the process is simplified and that's going to be by using some type of a pattern. And we're going to create our pattern out of a four foot by eight foot piece of plywood. And since the octagon has a 45 degree angle at each one of its connecting points, then all we need to do to create a 45 degree angle is go four foot in one direction, four foot in the other direction, and then draw a straight line. And then we're going to cut the plywood so that we can use it as a template to position the next form board in our octagon. And hopefully this makes sense. Like I said, I'm trying to make it easy. And then once we have this board secured, we can simply move the template over, line it up with the inside, and then grab our next form board and then line it up with the template. And I wouldn't suggest driving a bunch of stakes in here. Just put a stake at one end and a stake at the other end until you have connected everything together and double checked that everything is working out perfectly. And then of course, you're just simply going to repeat the process again, working your way all the way around the octagon. And after you have connected all of the boards together, you can go ahead and measure from one side to the other side, and then check to make sure that these measurements are all going to be the same. So again, measuring from the outside corner to the opposite outside corner, and then measure the next length and then the next one, and then the last one. Now it's going to be important to check all four of these lengths. And if your measurements are off, then you're going to need to move one of these corners to make the necessary adjustments to create an octagon shape that is going to be exact, precise, and right on the money. And even though I had you measure from these points here, I also want to point out that this board and this board are going to be parallel. So you should be able to measure across from here to here and then from here to here. And these measurements should be the same. So if you do cross check everything here and everything's right on the money, make sure that you measure across here also to make sure that all of these measurements are the same. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is because if you do have measurements that are inconsistent, they are not the same, then I would measure the distance here to make sure that they are the same. If not, then you might be able to find your problem by measuring the parallel boards also. And if you get to the point where you're off a quarter of an inch or even off a half of an inch and you're building something that doesn't have to be perfect, then just let it go. However, if you are going to build something that needs to be right on the money, then you might want to start doing some more math calculations. And you're going to be able to do that once you have the length, the overall length of the octagon. You're going to be able to use some of the other formulas I have made in some of my other videos. 